everybody. I'm Tom Vassell, and welcome to the Dice Towers. We take a look at another shelf in the Dice Tower Library. This is shelf 13C. Now, Rack 13 has a lot of escape room games on it. They're all on 13C and 13D, so you'll see a few of them along here, as well as some other various games, starting with the first one here, which is Summit. Summit is a climb the mountain game. It is a either cooperative or competitive game. I think it's better cooperative, although some people disagree. Cryptid is a logic style game where you're trying to figure out where stuff is. It really works well, trying to be the first person to figure things out. I especially like it as a three player game. Uh, then we have a trio of escape room games. These are the ones from Board and Dice. And I think this might be just three because they've come out, they came out with one three years in a row and then one did not come out in 2021. So maybe this is it. These are games that use uh, like a, you need some sort of internet connection you don't, uh, to play it. I guess you don't need an internet connection if you could download the website, but they're very long games. You'll see that the first one there says 180 to 360 minutes. That's about the way it is, but you can break them up into sections. They're very dark games. The Awakening and Low Memory are both very dark um, theme-wise. Uh, Children of the Worm Woods is not nearly as dark. They said it was the darkest one yet, but uh, whatever. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, but they're very, there's a lot of cool escape room puzzles. I like them a lot. And then we have the key. I got two versions of the key here, although I'm tempted to put the third one on this shelf too, possibly. I, I like the key, another logic game in which you have a bunch of cards. Everyone's trying to solve something together. It works really well, works for kids and adults. Then we come over here to Bites. Bites is a game that's Kind of move as far along a path as you want and collect different resources with different rules each time. It's a very strong welcoming game, very easy to teach people. And so I like having this one in the library. Map Maker. This one here I like having in the library. It's about gerrymandering, but it's a really good game. Don't worry, it's not a very strong political game other than saying that gerrymandering is not a good idea, showing you how you try to mess over the other players doing so. Some really cool concepts. Kingswood is a adventure style game. It's another family, very light game. Then we got Warsaw, City of Ruins. Now that name and box does not inspire, you know, a lot of woohoo-ness, but I really like Warsaw, City of Ruins. Um, it's a good game uh, about putting and laying out tiles. If you, if you like city building games in general, I think you'll enjoy this one. Fickle is a game about fairies with some very beautiful art. I very much recommend it. Uh, very light, uh, collecting cards. If you like games like, um, I don't know what kind of game to, to even compare this to, but if you like light card games about fairies, uh, that doesn't narrow it down. King's Road. Uh, this one's okay, but it's Reiner Knizia and it fit on the shelf, so it's there for now. Kill Dr. Lucky. This is a classic game, which is the prequel to Clue, essentially, where everyone's trying to kill Dr. Lucky uh, without anyone else seeing them do it. So it has a unique idea. This is one of the better versions of the game. There's a lot of different versions. This one's very nice. Bargain Quest. This one is not long for this world or for the shelf in particular. Bargain Quest is a game about buying and selling items. There's a little bit too much randomness in the game for me. This one has dipped a bit since I played it last. I enjoyed it when I first played it. And subsequent playings have dimmed it a bit for me. Also, I haven't seen anyone touch this one. Then we have two of the adventure games there, Monochrome Inc. and The Dungeon. These are not quite escape room style games, although they're in the same category. They're more like go through a story and figure things out. More of a point and click adventure is what they are like. And I like them a lot, which is why they're both on the shelf. Uh, I didn't like the third one in the series, and the fourth one is on my to be played shelf. And then Kodama, a lot of people really like this very light little game and therefore, and it also fit nicely on this shelf. So that's it, a lot of different little weird games in this one. You know, if you had to ask me what my favorite one is, it's a tough one here, but I think I'm gonna go with the key. I really enjoy these games. I'm having a lot of fun playing them from Haba, but I would not be surprised if uh, there was, you know, it, I want you to leave you in the comments what your favorite game is, and I bet there's many different answers. Anyway, that's another shelf in the Dice Style Library. I'm Tom Vassell, we'll see you next time. Thank you.